Hello and welcome to the Property Talk podcast from RW Invest, bringing you tips and advice on all things property investment. So understandably, we've had quite a lot of people asking about how COVID-19 affects the property market. Um, So we thought we would discuss it in a bit more detail. We've obviously, as a country, gone through plenty of major crises before. I guess, um, looking back, you've got 9-11, when the Northern Rock went bankrupt. Uh, I guess, of course, the credit crunch in in 2008, um, which directly affected the property market and was brought about by the property market. Um, and of course, more recently, the uncertainty surrounding Brexit. I mean, it's it's quite understandable that, that people would be wary in, in this market, as there is an air of uncertainty. But fortunately, it does seem that we are slowly coming out of the other side of things. Yeah, and look, the, the one thing you always know is that actually after all of these crises, um, 9-11, Northern Rock, the credit crunch um, and Brexit, there's one thing that's always been consistent every single time. And that is the property market has continued to grow and thrive through each and every one of them. Undeniably, there are lots of projections out there about the property market and many companies projecting a a dip um, in prices, some as low as 3% and some significantly higher. Um, But what is interesting to see is that many of the major players are projecting a, a very strong bounce back from 2021. And, and this has been seen after many of the, the crises that you've mentioned above. I mean, if you look at Savills, for example, they projected two scenarios, a worst case scenario, best case scenario. But regardless of which one, I mean, they project their, the, the, the property prices to be the same over the next five years as it was, or as their projections from December. So regardless of any dip, the, the property market is going to bounce straight back. There's one thing that, that remains the same that's not been changed whatsoever, and that is that there is still a housing crisis. You see every single political leader speaking at five o'clock on Sky News, and they, they all say there's still a housing crisis. There's a reason that construction was the first industry to go back to work. They need houses. There, there is a, a severe undersupply of houses. I guess also if you, you maybe look at um, the regeneration that's underway throughout the UK. Um, let's look specifically at Liverpool. I mean, there's £14 billion pounds worth of regeneration happening in Liverpool. That's not stopped. Um, it's still going from strength to strength. Uh, you'll find that the vast majority of our developers have actually remained on site pretty much throughout the whole of the lockdown restrictions, simply because they could adhere to the, to the guidance and measures that were put in place. So work has been continuing throughout this process. It, well, yeah, you're right. And it's a, it really is a very good time to buy um, in the market right now. I mean, we are seeing incredible deals from developers because they are motivated to sell. And we're almost using this situation to our advantage and being able to negotiate prices and fantastic deals on property and um, stage payments and things like that. I mean, the key to investment, as everyone knows, is to buy low and sell high. And if you're already investing in a below market value property and you can see a discount on top of that additionally then you're securing one of the well an incredibly lucrative asset Um, I mean I've worked here for five years now and these are some of the best deals that I have ever seen in the market I mean it's a very very good time to buy there's one guy you've always got to try and follow when you're looking at investment um, Warren Buffett the man that became one of the richest men in the world gave all his money to charity and then again became one of the richest men in the world simply because of his investment strategy. And the one thing he always says, and we try and relay this to our clients, is be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. I guess right now there's a very small window of opportunity to take advantage of the current climate and really secure yourself the very best investment opportunity. I would like to highlight that point as well. You say a small window of opportunity because you're you're right. I mean, the property market is, is reopened. Um, it was frozen for a couple of a couple of weeks with with lockdown, um, with the state agents being unable to open, to open, surveyors being able to go in and things like that. But everything was just put on hold. But now, um, confidence is returning to the market. Viewings are up and running. We are now able to 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 do that for for our properties as well. And as the restrictions are being lifted, and people are interested in the market, and they're out there looking for opportunity. 
Well, 100%. Look, I mean, if you look at just our inquiries in general, they've tripled or quadrupled just in the last few weeks. I guess since the referendum in 2016, there's been a huge amount of pent up demand. Inquiries were put on hold. People thought the world was going to was going to end and that property prices were going to go down dramatically. They've stagnated a little bit in London, but actually there's been significant uplift in, in property values throughout this whole period in Liverpool. But the one thing we've seen is that all this pent up demand is starting to to come back out again. The second that Boris Johnson was announced as as the leader in in um, 2019, December 2019, um, in January 2020, Zupa and Rightmove actually saw the highest level of inquiries since they actually opened, what, 20, 30 years ago, whatever it is. You'll find that actually in the last couple of weeks, there's been another massive spike. So people are in the market ready to invest, ready to move. Um, and more and more people are in that position to do so. I guess they are just looking at the market and seeing how, how it's operating. And look, again, we go back to the fact that right now you're buying at a much lower price point than you were three, four weeks ago. I think there's going to be an even bigger spike in the next couple of weeks. A lot of our investors, they seem to be moving their money from more volatile investments like stocks and wanting to put their money into more tangible assets like property um, and looking for long term investments. And especially a lot of international investors in the market um, are, are interested as the, the pound is weak at the moment. And, and that's a great time for international investment because as the, the pound strengthens, international investors instantly make money. 100%. Look, one of the only sectors that actually hasn't taken a major dip um, in the last quarter has been property. It was the only um, sector that was still positive um, over the last quarter. And look, what we're finding is, and, and we've seen it over the last three or four weeks, is again, we go back to clients who are investing now, are getting the best ROIs. Same thing happened in 2008. People who were buying during the crisis were buying very low. And imagine what the prices of the properties are now. They, they've taken full advantage of the situation. Um, the discounts that we're agreeing at the moment are, are extensive. They're, they're incredibly, um, impre incredibly lucrative for our investors. So, and, and certainly higher than any potential dip that we foresee in the market. You're already buying below market value by buying an off-plan development, but getting another discount on top of that as well, your ROIs are through the roof in comparison to any other asset class in the market. I would agree there. It's definitely, I mean, clients who, who wait are only going to miss out and potentially pay significantly more. I mean, it's already becoming a little bit more tricky with developers um, to negotiate deals and discounts as there is a lot more confidence in the market. I mean, they, they don't need to be as lenient as, as they have been as the, with the number of inquiries and, and the number of sales. No, even though there is obviously increased confidence and we're seeing way more inquiries, it still doesn't mean we're not asking the question and trying to secure the best discounts for yourself. Our priority is to get investors the best return on investment, simple as that. And, and all you really need to go into is look into the regeneration again. There's, there's again not been any stoppages of regeneration throughout Liverpool. There's still £14 billion worth of investment underway in the city. Um, it, it's following a very similar trend to, to what Manchester's seen over the course of the last eight years. And we've seen how um, lucrative the Manchester market has been in that time period. For example, Liverpool Waters is the second largest ever regeneration scheme in the UK. Um, second only to the Olympic Village in Stratford. It's a £5.6 billion project, 25-year development, nine phases, and that's going to transform the city. On top of this, you have the Superports, which is over a billion pounds worth of investment, the Knowledge Quarter, a multi-billion pound scheme um, evolved around the whole of the, um, the university campuses. You've obviously got the, the brand new Liverpool University Hospital. There's even regeneration schemes like the Bramley Moor Docks. You've got the Anfield Regeneration. So Liverpool is a transforming city, um, still at a very early stage of its, of its growth. So right now you are buying at a very low price point. Um, and we do believe that property prices are going to increase at a higher rate than anywhere else throughout the UK. The northwest is the fastest growing area of the UK and Liverpool is still incredibly affordable to, to buy. You know, if you can get a property below market value with an additional discount, in one of these areas, then you're setting yourself up for one of the strongest investments you can get. I mean, Liverpool has some of the highest rental yields in the country, and we've got apartments in L1, which is right in the heart of the city centre. 
um, in a major regeneration zone of the city, um, the Baltic Triangle, which start from just £104,950. I mean, we were both working here for five years ago in selling apartments like this in Manchester, in M1. And now you can't get apartments like that. I mean, well, you'd be looking at starting prices, probably one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy thousand pounds Minimum, I'd say. Um, which, I mean, you're looking at an uplift of up to 40% in a five-year period in some cases. So there is definitely a window of opportunity. Um, look, if at any point you want some information on any of our developments um, or just to discuss the potential possibilities that we have available, feel free to, free to contact RWM Invest, myself, Cheryl, um, or anyone to, to really get some more information on these details. For listening to the Property Talk podcast, I'm Felix. And I'm Cheryl. And if you need any further information, feel free to contact us on the links below. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.